Welcome to Pachera Talks. My name is Arun and I'm Solutions Architect, MCT, working with Novin Tech, which is one of the best organization to work with. This is my channel and these are my views on Azure Firewall exploring URL filtering. That's the topic in continuation with the security specialist series. We are exploring Azure Firewall and different features and different components. So let's get started with URL filtering. So as the name says, that's what it is. It gives us the ability or capability to filter as per the specific URLs. So if we are doing filtration uh, on the firewall rules with the help of specific URLs, what it gives, it gives us the control over access, who can access what. So the URL filtering uh, feature of Azure Firewall allows administrators to control access to specific URLs, enabling a more granular level of web traffic management. OK, well, why I wrote web category here? Because in the previous video, we understood it's a group, right? It's a category where there are multiple URLs, but here we are going very specific. So this feature is uh, helping administrators to enable a more granular level of web traffic management that is possible with broader category based web filtering or web category filtering that we learned in the previous video. OK. All right, let me remove that. OK, now this feature uh, is particularly useful for the organization that need to block or allow access to specific websites to comply with the security policies what we are trying to achieve here we are trying to comply with the security policies of any organization accordingly we implement all these rules and regulations but for it's, it's rules here not exactly the regulation but rules regulation decides what kind of rules we put in here so uh <clears throat> uh url filtering uh extends Azure Firewall FQDS filtering capacity to consider an entire URL. That is why it's URL based specific URL. If you are getting a little confused, don't worry. I have put the example. This is the exact URL xyz.com slash a slash b instead of only doing xyz.com. So here we are getting more granular, more specific. All right. Now, this URL filtering can be applied both on the HTTPS and HTTP. All right. So when HTTPS traffic is inspected, you must be wondering that is encrypted. How come it can see what is there? And people who are following this channel, this series, they know the answer is right here. OK, so when HTTPS traffic is inspected, Azure Firewall Premium can use its TLS inspection capability to decrypt the traffic and extract the target URL to validate whether access is permitted or not. So TLS inspection requires opt in at the application rule level to utilize it for specific URL under HTTPS. Once enabled, you can use URLs for filtering with HTTPS as well. So in a nutshell, what is URL filtering? If we have to just conclude the once and for all, URL filtering in Azure Firewall involves specifying allow or deny rules for accessing specific URLs. Unlike web categories, which group websites into broader categories, website into broader categories. So difference should be clear. So 
URL filtering targets individual web pages or domains. This allows for precise control over web access, ensuring that users can reach only the content that's deemed safe and relevant to their work. So this is what exactly it is. All these things is the URL filtering concept that we talked about. Now, once we understood the concept, the next thing always comes in the mind, how exactly it works. So here I have write down few points which will help us to understand how exactly it works. So the very first point is administrators define rules within Azure Firewall policy, specifying which URLs are allowed or blocked. These rules can target full URLs like I give the example here. This one, the full URL or the domains both can work. It, it also work. It can work the stresses as well. It has that capability now, so that's what the administrator going to do. Rule definition. Then what happened? Then of course, once the rule is there, traffic is coming, you got to inspect the traffic. So when a user attempts to access a website, Azure Firewall inspects the URL against the defined rules. This inspection is done against the full URL, not just the domain, enabling the fine grain uh, control, granular. So we can write it here to be in sync. So that's what the traffic inspection does. Then finally, if the URL matches a rule in the policy, the corresponding action allow or block is taken place. This action that the rule has allow or deny. Then finally, this is something very important. All attempts to access URLs, whether allowed or blocked, are logged. This provides visibility into, into web access patterns and potential security threats. Okay. So logging, which is very important. I have seen uh, some standards and regular regu regulatory compliance and things like that where logging is is kind of must it is usually must when you want to know what is happening how it is happening the visibility thing is important right so uh, that's about it works that's how it works that's how it works all right then now we understood how it works we have the all the points we need to define the rule then traffic is going to inspect and accordingly it will take the action and everything was is logged that's how it works but now it's time to understand why we should use it what are the benefits well we understood why we use it through this concept uh, but there should there must be some other benefits that we should know because you're going to sit with the with the cio ceos cdos and all all, all leadership people when you are engaged in the pre-sales kind of conversation, not that much technical. So you should know these details in precise because they understand this language in particular. So it allows organizations to block access to known malicious or undesirable URLs, reducing the risk of malware infection and data breaches, the things that you're already aware of. So hence, it is going to enhance the security if you are applying the URL filtering because it is fine grained, it is very granular to the specific URL, so it will enhance the security. Then it helps comply with the industry regulations by restricting access to content that could violate policies or legal standards along with detailed logging. So it can help you get the compliance check. Then it prevents access to non work related websites, reducing distractions and promoting a focus on work task. So we can include this one as well. Productivity. Though I have a different concept, if you need these kind of rules to get your people motivated to work, then something is missing there. Right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, 
offers this, your filtering offers precise control over web access down to specific pages, allowing for a balanced approach to internet accessibility and restrictions. So that's the granular control. So these are the benefits that we can talk about during our conversations that we can achieve while utilizing this particular feature of Azure Firewall. Now let's go through a couple of best practices because we should know about it and this will help us again. These, these will help us in designing and in architecting in the conversation with the customers if they come up with the questions and you know what is the best practice. So keep the list of allowed and blocked URLs up to date based on the on the on the evolving organizational needs and internet landscapes. This may include adding new URLs for emerging services or removing outdated ones. So it is something that you need to keep check on, just like your cost, just like your security on cloud. Then you got to inform users about URL filtering policies, including the reasons behind blocking certain URLs. Understanding the policy can reduce frustration and non-compliance. So user education is something that you should do. Then start with the default deny, default deny uh, rule, or rather deny all default, so that you can only allow what is needed. Otherwise, it would be very tiring. So start with default deny all rule, and selectively allow URLs needed for business operations. This minimizes exposure to potentially harmful content. Right? Then you should regularly review and audit. You must review because the first point was all about review, right? Now, regularly review logs and reports from URL filtering to identify attempted accesses to blocked sites, ensure compliance with policies and adjust rules as necessary. Then finally, use URL filtering as a part of a comprehensive security strategy that includes web categories, IDPs, and other Azure Firewall features, TLS for layered protection. So that's how uh, the best practices can be applied for our URL filtering. Now we can end the video with a, with a wonderful example that I've been thinking of from a financial institution which implements URL filtering on Azure Firewall to enhance security and compliance. The institution allows access to banking software URLs, financial news and regulatory bodies, but blocks access to personal email services, social media and entertainment sites. This policy is in place to protect sensitive financial data. That's the reason I said financial institution at the beginning and ensure compliance with financial regulations. So an employee attempting to access a blocked personal email service receives a message that the site is unavailable due to company policy. Meanwhile, the attempt is logged by Azure for sure, right? Logging. Now, administrators review these logs monthly to adjust the policy, uh, ensuring it remains relevant and effective without unduly hindering legitimate work-related web access. So these logging will help in review and audit and finally updating whatever is needed to be updated. So in summary, Azure Firewall's URL filtering feature provides detailed control over web traffic, enhancing security and productivity by allowing organization to precisely manage which web content is accessible within their networks. By adhering to these best practices, organization can effectively implement URL uh, filtering to meet their specific needs and policy requirements. With this, uh, let's end the video. I hope it was informative and you learned something new today. Well, thank you for watching and you guys have a wonderful day.